Uh, I'm Dan Martin. I'm president of Summit Tooling, Summit Plastics, established in 1996. We've been in business 21 years now, and uh, it's been successful for many, many years because of Makino's and their customer support and their equipment. We dabble in uh, injection molds in the prototype arena. Many of the tools that we uh, design and build here range from uh, over molding to insert molding, spin cavity technology, uh, hydraulic core pull technology, thin wall molding, many different facets of injection molds. Starting in 08 till now by adding the automation, um, I mean our sales number has more than doubled since 08 till now. I know we've had inflation and things of that nature that do affect some of that, but Without the automation, we would nowhere be close to where we're at now. Uh, we eliminated roughly about 12 milling machines with three. Uh, we purchased two S33s and one A61 at that moment in time. You know, when somebody tells you, well, you could do this with robots and this and that, and to hear it, you know, it sounds like a reach, but re I think Makino made it more of a reality for us once you get involved and understand what's going on there and what has to be done. Um, and I think Makino proved to me initially when they came in and saw our operation, how they changed how we do things, that it changed the whole picture for us. If we had not made that change in 08, I think today we would not even be in business. Uh, they are hugely instrumental in the profitability and the ability for us to succeed through any of these tough times that we've had over the years uh, to this point. Uh, labor for us, and I'm going to revert back to just initially bringing a robot into our shop. When I first did that, the first thought of most people's brains is that you're trying to eliminate our jobs. No, I'm trying to make your job more efficient so we can push more work through here, equate to more dollars, with the same amount of people. Um, that's the goal. So initially when they saw it, they, they, they were a little standoffish about it, but once they realized what it could do and how much easier and faster it made their job too, uh, they were all on board with it and they thought it was actually fun. And uh, that's kind of where it's at today. So when we went to the milling, uh, yes, we added a milling and, and it changed how we did things enormously because a guy would set up everything, walk out of here, come back the next morning and everything that he programmed would be done. And he thought, wow, all that happened while I was sleeping. We've had other machine tool suppliers and I, I know I can't mention the name, but uh, where we bought a machine that claimed that it could cut uh, 900 inches a minute. The reality of that is that machine can't cut more than 120 inches a minute. And when we were asked, uh, we asked that machine tool supplier, what, why not? And they said they didn't have an answer for us, but they did give us phone numbers of other customers that had bought their machines. So we called that customer, their customer, and said, hey, we're running, this is what we're using, this is what we're running. He said, no, you're, you're cutting as fast as that machine can cut. And I said, okay. So after that purchase, uh, that was the last purchase I made from that company, and uh, here we are with Makino where if you have a problem like that, they're there. They don't, they don't have to defer to another customer there. They know the answers. They know what it's capable of. They know what kind of cutters to utilize, techniques to use, what's, what's achievable and what's not achievable. Because again, they want you to be profitable with what you're performing with, otherwise, who, who's the winner there? Makino wants to sell product. We want to make product. Let's team together and work together.